Let's talk about knees. Now I'm not talking about the rickety things in your Costco jeans that you tell everybody you hurt in a football all-star game, but we really know it was you trying to show off in front of your teenage daughter's friends and oops, down you went. <coughs> nope, I'm talking about flying knees to the face that would make any fan of anything decent in humanity smile. Just this last weekend at UFC 189, we saw Thomas Almeida and Jeremy Stevens land some flying knees that would make any crash test dummy thankful for their job. And we got a treat too. We didn't only just see a rear flying knee, but we saw a scissor knee as well, which, I mean, these things are as seen as often as the abominable snowman in MMA, and so seeing these things is just a treat for all of us. Now, let's go through, analyze these a little bit, and see how these knees were set up and what makes them so devastating. First, let's take a look at the flying switch knee. The great thing about the switch knee is that, for the most part, the setup is built in. The rear knee is seen first, which causes the opponent to either try to block it or to cover up, which allows the lead knee to sneak past the guard and render the opponent on the floor confused and questioning the entirety of his life. What Almeida did was just stock pick it down, and as soon as he became airborne, Pickett froze in his tracks and tried to cover up, which resulted in him on the canvas and talking retirement in the days after the fight. The next knee we're gonna examine is the rear flying knee that Jeremy Stevens landed on Dennis Bermudez. Stevens was able to land this knee because Bermudez became predictable with his level changes. Every time Bermudez got Stevens near the cage, he'd throw a punch and rush in with an attempted takedown. Once Bermudez threw that jab, Stevens knew it was knee time and summoned the war gods directly to his knee. Now, I don't know who he sold his soul to for that one, but he got his money's worth. So if there's one thing that we learned at UFC 189, it's that flying knees are awesome and we want to see more of them. And when used correctly and timed right, they can be devastating blows that can end a fight at any time. Keep them coming. We want to see more of them. I hope we see more of these in UFCs to come. And remember, as always, I'm Santino DeFranco, breaking things down for you at Fight University.